For our experiment today, to do our investigation, you will need some coffee filters, or kitchen paper will also work, I think, and you will need a dropper. If you don't have a dropper, that's fine. You can just use a teaspoon and some water, and you will need your three pens. You will need a ballpoint pen, which is a biro pen, and you will need a felt tip pen, and you will need a pencil because we need to find out who wrote that note. So, what we will do is we will make three marks on the paper one with pencil, one with a biro, and one with your felt tip pen. Now, before you carry on, you need to first predict which one will smudge like the one found in the classroom. So make a prediction now. Will it be the pencil? Will it be the biro? Or will it be the felt tip pen? Okay, so you've made your prediction. You also have to give a reason why you made that prediction. Now it's time for the test because the paper that was found in the classroom was smudged. It had a little bit of water on it when they trashed the classroom. We need to see which one will smudge. So first we will test the pencil. Then we will put some water on the biro. And finally, some on the felt tip pen. And now we need to wait a few seconds to see which one smudged. Remember, we used the pencil, the biro, and the felt tip pen. Oh dear, I think we found the culprit. What do you think? I think the person who used the felt tip pen was the culprit. Can you think why? Can you give a reason why this one smudged, this one did not smudge as much, and this one didn't smudge at all. You can test this by dissolving some graphite in water and trying to dissolve some ink in water and trying to dissolve your felt pen in water. And then you can find the answer. Or without the experiment, you can perhaps just predict why you think this one smudged and the others did not smudge.